shooting efficiency is off the charts. Alyssa Usby, as Courtney Banghart said today, a coach's dream. They get it down to Gok Dang. She doesn't miss that one, Kyle. That was a great entry pass from Kelly. Guarding Gamble. Both of these teams really good defensively. Spartans, one of the best in the country. They're actually top 10 in points per game as, and what they allow. Career at San Diego, so comes in with some experience, some veteran leadership out there on the court. Usby trying to find an angle. That was a tough one, but Usby around the basket. Kelly defensively disrupts enough for Gokdang to run it down. Kelly's going to push. Usby right down the middle, right down the spine. One bounce pass and perfectly finished by Navar. Former Virginia Cavalier where she was a big time player for the Wahoos. Usby has Gokdang on one side, Kelly on the other. Usby's going to go the entire distance and she'll have the and one. You were saying she can play how many positions? <laughs> through traffic and gets the finish. Now we talked about basically already telling us that Usby's coming back next year. That's what I heard. I mean, every coach, they have eligibility, right? They're going to want them back. Here comes Usby, pushing it. Usby having herself a game. And it's 11-2 Tar Heels. Every coach wants to build a program, right? And it, there's an environment around it. Great steal right there. Busy hands. Navar off the steal and block, but it'll stay with North Carolina. Kelly back out there with Gokden, Donarski, Usby, and Navar getting the start. Donarski, yes, for three. Younger Usby probably tries to force that up and turns it over. Kelly did force it, but Navar was there to clean it up, and Navar's got four. It's a good look, though. If you're Carolina, that's what you want in transition. If you're not going to get to the basket, get the wide open three opportunity. Nice little roll up and in there from Grady. The lead at 12, 16 to 4. Poole off the bench, trying to get busy. Creates her own space up and in. Anya Poole, that's how she's been playing, Kyle. Poole, capable of double-doubles if she gets enough minutes. Kelly with that stop and pop. That's Deja Kelly's specialty right there. Kyle, that's her go-to shot. See Carolina being able to switch here. Great backdoor cut. Cool, though defensively did enough to gonna continue to exploit it yeah her eyes are big her eyes are big here's Grady sets her feet that's a nice smooth stroke from three for Grady made some buckets and got her season average with nine in the first a little short on that jumper no dribble with it that time here's Grady who just made that nice basket and has got another one and it's also giving them more points seven second chance points for the Tar Heels Kelly Little stop and go, misses it, good pass to Poole. It's been a common theme for North Carolina at home. They have worked defensively to force teams the final seconds of the shot clock. That time Grady that deep in a shot clock to really stay in a game. Kelly finds Poole and Deja Kelly is making the right play. 24 to 11 as India Navarre will head to the Warriors table to come in, lay up for the Spartans. Usby has Donarski to her left. Gokdang makes the run. Look at Gokdang shielding on the run, and that's why her efficiency is so great. Played almost eight minutes in the season opener against Guardian Webb, where she scored her first career points as a Tar Heels. 28 to 13, and a deep three finished there from Simpson. Six threes on the season coming into this one. She Tough pass, but... Good job bringing it in was Calfani and a deep three. Look at Simpson, Kennedy Simpson, the junior. This is the deep ball. They've got a couple of them here in the second quarter. Usby just always seems to be in the right place. Gamble working the crossover. Renaya Kelly not biting. Oh, that's a tough shot made. Nice to have them back in Carmichael. Looks like they're going UNCG to his own defense. Great passing for Carolina. Got to finish that layup. Gokdang tries to run it down, but it'll be UNC Greensboro out front to Gamble. Nia Kelly shutting down Gamble, and another three. Instead of going inside like they had. How about Simpson? Looks like it was the same. Deja Kelly from three in and out. How many times have we said that? Gokdang gets the rebound over to Navarre. Navarre trying to use her body. She is blocked. 
Simpson was behind the three-point line there. Kyle thought she was going to pop it again. Little heat check. Gamble. Got that Allen Iverson crossover, but loses it. Usby. Usby likes to attack the basket, and she'll get the and one. Alyssa Usby. Getting the ball, leading the break. That's what she did so well early in this game, and it's where Carolina was having their success. Usby will miss the and one. Nobody moves right there. Navarre. As you saw, as soon as I saw it, I thought to myself, that is going to drive a coach nuts. And sure enough, Coach Patterson upset over there, and rightfully so. You got to know the situation. Simpson again from three. Part of that early run, but the Spartans have answered the bell. It's North Carolina 36. Navar put it up and in. So ostensibly turning it into a four point play. Here's Donarski. Nice step in. Off the fake, right inside the three-point line for two. Boyle. Wow, high arcing three. Rainmaker right there, especially from that player right there. Yes, yeah, Simpson beats her own space and in and out. Rebound underneath and we're tied. Tremendous finish from Calpani. When it looked like North Carolina was going to blow out UNC Greensboro, the Spartans have responded. And Usby at the bucket to give North Carolina a two-point lead. Thanks for being with us on ACC Network Extra. Alongside Kyle Straub, I'm Dean Linky. Donarski for three, and she nails it. Best three-point shooting threat on this Tar Heel team, and they really need her tonight because unless your name is Lex Gamble, with Donarski, keeping an eye on her. Good switch from Donarski. Shot clock down to three. That was all Donarski. Defensively, Deja Kelly. So good from the left side. And that's an and one, right? Saw the baseline was open with Gamble up on the elbow there. You saw her with Usby. Inbounds play. Oh, really well executed. Navarre down to Gokdang. That right there. A good breakdown, Kyle. Driving to the basket. Blocked away there by Gokdang. Navarre. Gokdang. Nice pass. I like the way Navarre is always looking. She's got three helpers already. 46-34. Grady. Featured in our halftime highlights, and that's why. Another good bucket for Quick. double two. Get it to her left side and get that first step. Ooh, must be flashed. It opened the first time, gets it the second time. Donarski sets her feet. Yes, for three. Uh, Lexi Donarski, you're over from beyond the arc, but a couple of three. Dirty little crossover, Allen Iverson style as well. Good help from Navarre. She has looked really good here in the third. Navarre dropped it to Deja Kelly. Navarre, big basketball brain, a great pass. One away from tying her career high and made threes with five, four to four back in there. Extra bounce pass. Kane looks like she led with her shoulder. Rebound underneath, up and in. A little short. She's not been shy shooting three for 10. Gamble making a great run and gets paid off. Powell to Gamble. Simpson! Oh my! Five for five for number 14. Three point land. And we're talking deep as well. The lead 51 43, Tar Heels. Carolina, the two point halftime lead. Anya Poole getting ready to check in. Gamble. Good fake on Gokdang, and a finish by Gamble. That was good defense by Carolina, getting them deep into the shot uh, clock, but... Defensively, Simpson thought about it, then stepped inside the three. Look at Anya Pools coming all the way out to respect the game of Simpson. Little runner, Gokdang keeps it alive. Navarre, Navarre sees the court really well. Donarski, step back three, yes! Check out this, just the one dribble allows her to set herself. That's a veteran move right there. Freshman gets the ball. I like the way she runs the show. No McPherson, no Paris. Navarre making the most of it. Now Deja Kelly is in double digits. Simpson is still outside the three-point line waiting for a kick out. They battle underneath, and it's the Australian. Grady. There's that high arcer and rated it again as Boyle. 
Man, does that ball go high in the air, Kyle. Great job running the point by Grady. You can see her eyes up, seeing what she had, what the defense was giving her. Cool with the high screen. Deja Kelly uses that. Can't get the shooter's row. Usby there with that left hand. Usby's got 13. I know you're with me, Kyle. I'm really high on Anya Poole. No matter what row, and wow, Grady with another big bucket. Mahler directed by the E-Dog, Evan Badler. Good pass, Boyle down low, up and in. The finish from Kane, and the lead has been cut to three. Deja Kelly, Donarski, and Donarski hits another three. I'm shocked they left her open. Just some soft defense moving with the ball instead of staying with the shooter. Howard got caught out of position, and it doesn't take much. It's the only three-point shooter who's knocked anything down for Carolina. Boyle, with that high RP3 misses. Kane goes hard. Got dang. Kelly trying to keep an eye on Boyle. Boyle, there it is. High archer again. Front of the rim. Rebound Anya Poole. Stat stuffer as she's got six rebounds. Poole and Poole with the shooter's touch. There it is. Gokteng gets her hands in there. And Kelly's got it. Donarski sets up, and Kelly took the player. Donarski took the player. Here we go, shot clock again. Down to three. Gamble misses everything. That's back-to-back -back fantastic. Is going to come back into the game for Courtney Banghart. That's a good, clean shot. You have liked Grady, the junior. I thought maybe she was going to crank that. Here's Grady, creating her own space, back of the rim. Usby got a piece of it, and Navarre will. Usby, great pass to Anya Poole. And Anya Poole, a perfect five for five from the field. North Carolina, the turnovers have hurt them from taking a bigger lead. There's Navarre. Has had a great game. I like what she brings to this Tar Heel team here, Kyle. But to go with those eight points, she's got seven rebounds, five assists, so she's stuffing all the important stat categories. Narski. UNCG now has to come up with some defensive stops. Anya Poole finally misses a shot. They need a bucket right here. 2.45 remaining. Gamble. Oh, thought she took about five steps, and she's going to get an and one. What a move. Check this one out. Kelly looking at the screen, able to lose her. Little pump fake and the Euro. Usby, the bar, down to Gokdang. Gokdang, soft touch. That was a good job by Carolina clearing out. A little urgency here from the Spartans. Gamble gonna try to do it all by herself. Forces that shot, backside rebound there, but Picked up by Navarre, who's had herself a big-time game. Eight rebounds for Navarre. Gamble was a little out of control, but I'm all right. It's deep enough in this game. you got to try and force something. That may have just been the nail in the coffin, though. From three again. Six for eight from downtown. In and out for Gamble. And Donarski with 22. Navarre for three, and Navarre is in double digits. Deja Kelly gives Navarre a hand. And final thoughts from Kyle Straub as your final score is North Carolina 81, UNC Greensboro 66.